Okay, and what about, I heard you got some good stories you can share with us. Um, my favorite one was the, uh, the motorbike in Copenhagen. Copenhagen. Oh, Copenhagen. <laughs> Alright, so, I haven't had a motorbike accident and I've driven pretty much everywhere around Southeast Asia on a motorbike without accident, but it was the night after the full moon party in Copenhagen. Well, I did have an interesting story when I was traveling in Central America and uh, I ended up getting everything stolen, like my passport, my travel, my tickets, like everything. Well, basically, I mean, I've been on a long, lot of bus rides on this trip and I, at the beginning, you, you sort of, you're very careful with your bag, you pack it in a rain cover so it doesn't get dirty, it doesn't get wet and everything, but eventually after a, a fair amount of traveling, you sort of get lazy, you're like, yeah, it'll be fine, whatever. And uh, no helmet, like, driving up and I was sort of still half dazed from the night before. And I looked over and I was just like looking at something in the distance and by the time I turned back, there was a cliff right in front of me and I was just like, what do I do? Like, do I drive off the cliff with the bike or do I jump off the bike or do I try and turn the bike? And I was lucky traveling with these really nice people who looked after me. We went to the embassy to get everything we made. There were like three days for a passport. I'm like, okay, so we went, this was in Costa Rica, went up volcano and stuff like that, came back, picked up my passport, went and got new stamps in it, all this stuff. End of the day, we were leaving Costa Rica the next day. We're sitting in a cafe having a beer. My friend's like, oh crap. And I looked at my passport and they typed it wrong. It was expired the day it was issued, which was that day. And we, we hopped on this night bus from um, Sihanoukville to Badambang and my friend asked me, do you want to put the plastic bag around the backpack? And yeah, like I said, I let my guard down and said, nah, I should be fine, don't worry. And we uh, had the first bus ride, for, was about si um, six hours from eight in the evening to two in the morning to Phnom Penh and then we had to change buses. And when I got my backpack out of the, uh, out of the bus, it was completely wet and I was like, what happened here? And then I smelled it and it just reeked of fish. My mind wasn't functioning too much, so I just let go of the bike and jumped off the bike. The bike went down the hill and I sort of like fell to the side and my head was pretty much that close to hitting the concrete that it just made the grass, so I was okay. Uh, the bike was mangled, so, and uh, there's a tendency in Copenhagen to rip you off uh, if you have like a tiny little scratch on your motorbike or something. And what happened is they basically put styrofoam boxes with frozen fish on top of the backpacks and that fish or the ice with the fish had melted and just completely soaked my backpack and all the clothes. So yeah, basically smelled like a small fish market inside of my backpack. Yeah, it was pretty disgusting. <laughs> so I went around like this guy helped me pull my bike up out of the bush. It was locked up so I snapped the like lock out of place like so I could drive it everything was scratched up so I drove around the whole Copenhagen Island getting different parts from each individual part shop to like replace them but they all work as one over there they're it's all like run by a sort of like the mafia or something so they all sort of know each other and whatnot so you can't really just change the you know parts on the bike and they all have like part numbers on them or a number relating back to where you actually hire the bike and it's all twinked on so I just like wiped all the <laughs> numbers off. <laughs> Went around everywhere and like just bought a different part from each shop. So then I had to run back and they had to write a letter in Spanish because I was getting two passports on the same day and she shuffled a typewriter and made a new one. But yeah, that was interesting. <laughs> but you know, it's like when stuff goes wrong, it makes the most interesting stories, you know? And um, yeah, I kind of got away with it until I'd, I was just after like one more front, front guard and um, yeah, went to this other place and this guy must have worked in conjunction with the guy that actually hired the bikes and he called him straight away and he came down and he was like, you know buy a part from here, you buy from me, you buy from me. So anyway, I got taken back. He, he only charged me like a thousand baht um, just for that front piece, which would have actually only cost me probably maybe 50 or 60 baht from this part shop. But uh, yeah, I done that with the whole bike. So I changed all the parts on the bike and he only charged me the, for the front bit. So I'm kind of lucky or I would have been paying like maybe like $500 or something, so. Definitely recommend travel. Definitely recommend travel insurance. It's worth getting the one up from the beginning one. <laughs> and I guess we'll talk, because um, you guys can like sit up well and... <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's good. It's fine now. After soaking it for a couple of hours in bleach and detergent, it now smells reasonably fresh. <laughs>